Hello, hello everybody. Thank you for joining me today. I'm gonna to be talking all about the Kinza thermometer. This is something that I have never heard of before, but it showed up in my son's backpack after school one day. And to be completely honest, I didn't even know it was there. It was kind of just jam packed in the middle or the bottom of his backpack, like not in his take home folder or anything. It comes in a box, but the box also has this little carrying little bag. So um, I've been storing it in here ever since I actually opened the box to see what this thermometer was all about. So like I said, this came home from school in my kindergartner's backpack and it sat in his backpack for weeks. I check his folder. I don't always check his backpack, but when I checked his backpack, I thought this was a pack of COVID tests. Last year, the COVID tests were coming home like hotcakes, like especially if um, like there was a school break or like a three day weekend or something, they would just send home the COVID tests because they just wanted everybody testing before coming back to school. So I was like, all right, whatever, like another COVID test. And I didn't even really think about the fact that this is an actual thermometer and not a COVID test. I finally opened up the box and I'm like, okay, like the school's like really getting a little bit pushy on like all of these health standards and requirements and stuff. Like, like why would a school be sending me home a thermometer? Do they really think that I don't have one? <sighs> And then I looked more into it. This thermometer is actually really cool. Not only is it flexible and bendy, I mean, like that's cool in itself. I don't really know like what benefit that has, but it is a Bluetooth operated thermometer. So having it as a thermometer is one thing, but when you have the app, it is like 10 times cooler than I ever thought it was. So the first thing that you need to do is download the app and sign into your school account. So you have to find your school and you can register each child in each school that they're in. So all three of my kids are in the same school for now, but you can see at the top of the page, you can see different kids and their health status. The coolest thing about this app is that the more parents that use this app and track their kids' health on a daily basis, the more we're going to know what symptoms are going around, what diseases, or that sounds so bad, but like hand, foot, and mouth disease, but like what virus and like what is going around, not only the classroom, but also the school. And then it also tells you risk level within the county that you're in. So I'm gonna take my temperature. Ninety-eight point two, and you can see that there's a smiley face. I honestly don't know if you're going to be able to see it on here. Well, it's ninety-eight point two, and there's a little smiley face up in the corner. But the cool thing is that on my phone, you can see it says ninety-eight point two. So then, also when you get a temperature reading done, so it basically like took my reading straight real time. Like that's exactly what my temperature was. And there's an option at the bottom down here that says oral, rectal, or underarm. Clearly this was just oral, so I'm gonna save that. So then they're gonna ask me, do you have any symptoms? No, I don't have any symptoms. Everything looks good. Okay, thanks. Um, time to get your flu vaccine. I'll like tell me more about that later. I don't really need to know about it now. It's fine. So then it's gonna give me a timeline of all of my symptoms. And then the next cool thing, so I live in Monroe County in New York and it tells me that we're at a high risk of local illness. The COVID-19 cases is moderate risk, I guess. They're calling it stable. And flu is high risk and it's also stable. I don't know how something high risk can be stable, but okay. And you can change your location as well. Um, I like, like the fact that you can do, um, change your location for a local illness is just kind of cool because if you're traveling for the holidays or anything, you can definitely see, um, like what illnesses are high risk and high transmission in different areas. So I think that's really cool. So that in a nutshell is basically how it works. You're getting a real time reading on your phone, but when you have a kid in a classroom or like in a school, it also takes you down to their classroom. Not necessarily their classroom, it's taking you down to their grade level. So everybody in kindergarten 
in my kids' school, there's um, one member sick in the past seven days. One symptom of runny nose, one symptom of cough, no diagnosis in the past seven days. And then there's a message board, so that is cool too. But you can actually see specifically per grade. So I have a kindergartner, a second grader, and a third grader, and I can see all of the sicknesses that were reported in every grade level. So that's really cool. So obviously something like this, like it works better with crowdsourcing when there's more kids who are participating in it. So it's really cool that they sent it home with the whole school and I kind of wish they like made a little bit more of a push to have everyone participate in this because I can't tell you how many Facebook groups or just like on a mom's like regular Facebook page where she's like, what's going around right now? Um, my kid has these symptoms, what virus is going around? But like when you actually are registered to your child's school and down to their grade level, you're getting a much closer look, like under a microscope, what exactly is going around in your kid's school. So I think that's really neat. And if you guys got one of these from your school or if you can find one in the store, I definitely think it's a really good idea. The more people who participate in the Kinza app, um, the more you're going to know and the more you're kind of just going to be able to be able to prepare ahead of time. If you know that there's a stomach virus going around, you are way more likely to um, really enforce hand washing and all those things. And I mean, regardless, whatever illness it is, like, you know that like your kid's going to need more rest. They're going to need more sleep. Sleep is healing. So let your kid sleep. If sleep gets off track after the fact that they're completely better from their illness, then you either need to implement some sleep training strategies. If your kid is older, you're not gonna be like sleep training per se, but you need to re-implement all of the expectations that you had before they were sick. And if you need help getting back on track, you can always reach out to me and set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Obviously, when it comes down to something like sickness or illness, whether it's with a baby, a toddler, preschooler, school-age kid, Sleep is going to be so, so, so important and that's why I'm extra passionate about something like this because it really helps to know if you should be, you know, like on high alert when there's different things going around and you can try and be proactive and make sure that your kid's getting to bed early and make sure that they're getting enough vitamins and all the things that they need to be healthy. And I just, I don't know, I just really like it and I wanted to make this video to tell you all that if you're thinking about getting the Kinza Thermometer, I love it. Uh, this video is not sponsored in any way whatsoever, but I just wanted to share. If you have ever used a Kinza thermometer or you've ever thought about using one, leave me a comment down below. If you are struggling to get sleep back on track after sickness, watch this video right here and keep blooming. Mwah.